It's that time of the year again when it starts to draw on Christmas. All the children's eyes fill with wishes as they read the rhyme. Good morning, world. It's travel day today, and we are leaving our beautiful spot out here for Pickens area. National Seashore. Really, really nice place. Really enjoyed it very much. Really hate leaving, actually. Uh, very peaceful, beautiful. Got a lot of rain. You know, it's December, you know. But uh, very much enjoyed it. Probably gonna have to come back again here one day. Really nice. Post everything Pensacola, Gulf Breeze. Really nice. been a good car Abe you still smell brand new well guys I gotta tell you I very much enjoyed this car over the three years that I've had it um, as you know Abe has been through a lot with us I've pulled it all over the country more than once on a dolly never had any issues well so here I am at the Astro Lincoln in Pensacola and this will be where Abe and I will part ways I've signed the paperwork and he is being set free. Equinox. It's a 2016 Chevrolet Equinox LT four-door sport utility. It is black on black with chrome trim and alloy wheels, luggage rack on the roof, and has all the fun stuff that comes with a convenience package. It comes with all the bells and whistles as you would expect. It has very nice leather seats and trim with red stitching. 
Ah yes, who doesn't love a sunroof? So I'm really excited about the new car here. The best part of it is, is it's paid for. And it's not a lease, so I can go ahead and modify it. I could modify Abe to pull a flat four wheels down. I hope to one day do this uh, modification to this vehicle and uh, be free of the dolly. Going to weigh the benefits, pros and cons. But it's a good running vehicle in excellent shape and I'm looking forward to it taking care of me through travels for several years to come. Is that right, Lieutenant? This car is more narrow across the beam than Abe was, but still has plenty of cargo space for gear or greyhounds. I opted for the V6 direct injection front wheel drive for the extra power. Power mirrors, power seat, power windows, rear view camera, remote start, all the airbags, traction control, ABS. I really like the fact that it has a tire pressure monitoring system and Bluetooth so I can stream my tunes. The ride is smooth, the handling is responsive, road noise is very quiet. This car handles much like Abe did. I love it. So the price tag was $18,500, the mileage is around $33,000, about the same as Abe was. I also bought into an extended warranty, five years, 100,000 miles. So what do you think of the Lieutenant, huh? I am really happy with this vehicle. Uh, I did a lot of homework before I pulled the trigger on this purchase. And uh, it, I'm really happy with my decision. The thing handles really nice, stable, strong, tight steering. Uh, the V6 gives me the power I need to get out there and get in, into uh, on the interstate or whatever. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I can't find anything wrong with it. It's got two new tires. Uh, it's clean inside and out. No damage. No history of, of no bad history. And just a really nice car. Plenty of cargo space that I need and the weight that I wanted to stay below is well within range there. And this particular model I got because the transmission is, the vehicle is set up in such a way so that you can just put it neutral, disable the battery and put it in the accessory mode to unlock the steering wheel and you can tow it four wheels down. A lot of the cars nowadays are going by the wayside and uh, they're just going high-tech transmissions and the engine has to be running in those in order to lubricate the transmission so you can't tow them flat without the engine running or you will burn up your transmission so uh, this particular model is designed with that in mind thankfully as all the other uh, options begin to be few and far in between it is Christmas Eve guys it is Christmas Eve and if you're watching that thank you I appreciate you dropping in because I know you probably have a very busy household right now if not you might be one of these other people I put out a poll uh, with the last video because it's kind of fun just to get a feel of what everybody's doing especially if you're in this lifestyle where are you going to be you know or where are you going to see or uh, what is everybody doing for Christmas well uh, the poll numbers are in and uh, the, the number one thing that everybody's doing for Christmas that responded to this is traditional Christmas at home then feast with the family 41 percent uh, coming in second is gotta work bah humbug I don't do Christmas 20 percent of you are working or tied up or whatever doing other things so you're going to uh, not have a, a traditional Christmas um, after that is traditional Christmas morning at home with family and they're relaxing 15% Christmas morning at home then heading to somebody's house is 13% and then a romantic Christmas Eve with honey then sleeping in comes in last 11% <laughs> And uh, that's what everybody's kind of up to. Uh, shout out to Sherry Haida who commented on that poll. Uh, first Christmas without mom, Sherry. Heart uh, goes out to you. Thoughts and prayers. My lost my mom May 1st. If you guys have been what, keeping up with the videos. And that would be our first Christmas without her. And uh, uh, lost my oldest sister a few days ago. So they will be on our minds and in our hearts. As we count our blessings. And... Uh, create good happy memories for them. Um, uh, Chris Stowe, traditional Christmas at home, the feast with family, Italian style Christmas. I wish you lived right up the road. What is that, like five courses? Man, that's a lot of fun right there. It's a lot of food. You gotta wheel me out of there when I a wheelbarrow or afterwards. Uh, Mustang, um, romantic Christmas Eve with honey and I'm sleeping in. Um, but the uh, Living arrangement for him at the time will be in his 27-foot travel trailer, 40 miles away from anything, but with a great couple nearby and uh, no distractions. Just time to reflect 
on personal things. Isn't that great? Love to hear that. Take the time to reflect. Be thankful for what you have. Look around you. Take it all in because you just never know how long it's going to be there. Uh, Deaf Dalmatian got to work. Uh, she's single, living alone, and no family to speak of, relatives to visit. Uh, she is uh, actually not working one of her hospital jobs for once and just stay home with her two dogs cooking something challenging and just enjoying her furry family there, which is totally awesome. Um, Carrie is, or Sherry, Sherry is romantic evening at home, uh, just hubby in with their fur babies. Everybody else is scattered around the country, so nobody is conveniently close by to visit, and they plan on retiring when they retire, if not sooner. Do it sooner. If you can do it sooner, do it sooner, because life is short. If you can work out of your RV just before you retire or whatever, make it happen, because time goes by so fast. It is Christmas Eve. I want to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for popping in and sharing uh, my travels with me. And your comments down below are always so very kind and supportive. And I'm certainly glad that you enjoy them. I enjoy sharing it with you because not everybody can get out and do what I'm doing right now for one reason or another. And it is a, all year long you've touched my heart. Uh, uh, those of you that have uh, told me that I'm uh, an inspiration to you and you have gone out and started this lifestyle or that I just make your day better because you might be living vicariously through me and through these travels and stuff and and it uh, takes you away from the situation that you may be in that doesn't allow you to do uh, enjoyable things like this right now but I'm sure you will one day so for me to you Merry Christmas hope you guys have a wonderful time share with me down in the comments what you did and don't forget to share some therapy with somebody else special to you that you think will appreciate it. I'm Bobby Jean. Merry Christmas. This is my therapy.